So this is apparently an RSR killer and my first ever Ferrari build in Need for Speed Heat. The Ferrari F40. Look at this car. Oh my god. It is so pretty. Incredible. $547,000 and a customization rating of 2. Oh. <laughs> Great. Uh, so let's go and check it out. A pure stock car. F40. Look how wide it is. This is a wide car. Ooh. Oh man. Yeah, it is not cheap. It feels very stiff right now. So let's sort that out a little bit. 201 miles an hour. Hmm. Interesting. I'm excited to check this build out. I cannot get over how beautiful this car is. Look at it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Ferrari are known not for liking customization too much. Because they feel like they've made art. And you're ruining Hello, that art. So, yeah. Car. Right, I think I'm going to go with the 4.4 litre V8 engine. The hybrid does have slightly quicker 0 to 60. Which is interesting. But I can't put a hybrid into an F40. It would make no sense. Unless it is for a good reason. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's go for the 4.4 litre V8. This is the stock engine. Just to listen to it again. When those lights pop up. <laughs> okay. Definitely more meaty. Definitely more meaty indeed. Alright, let's go for it. 300 and... I've spent a lot of money on this car already. It is painful. Again, Ultima Plus parts straight into the car. It's got a potential of 1,120 horsepower. So if I want a better 0 to 60, more torque, it would be the dual. Should I go for a dual turbocharger? Mm. I'm not sure. Might have changed that. We'll come back to that eventually. What I like about this game, there's always that debate on what parts you want to put in the car. There's not a, a definitive answer, which I do like. I like a lot. Like, even drag tyres. The acceleration, 0 to 60 is a lot, a lot better. Like, clutch. 0 to 60 is important, obviously, depending on the race. It really does depend on the race. So, let's go for a six speed. The gearbox. Differential. Yeah, it's 0 to 2, two second, 0 to 60 is not too bad. It's not too bad at all. So that is the performance part of the video done. 0 to 60, 2 seconds. That is pretty impressive. Uh, top speed, 234 miles an hour. And max horsepower, 1085. Right, starts. Let's bring this car right down. Slam it! <laughs> The slammed a F40. What am I doing? Right, so this is its stock. Oh man, that is a lot of flames. Yes! <laughs> that is a lot of flames. Some would say maybe too much. I would say not enough. There we go. That's done. Uh, let's go for the body. So, oh, did that, that does actually have a hood. But the pop-up lights completely disappear. Ooh. Hmm. All right, we'll go for it. I mean, this is need for speed. I want to do a bit of customization. Even if, even if I don't fully agree with it, I still want to customize. Does that make any sense? Probably not. It's actually a splitter. Looking lazy. Right, I'm probably going to change the rims. I'm not quite sure to what. What is that? That is potentially the worst wing mirror I've ever seen on a car in my entire life. I mean, yeah, why not? New side skirt. Do we have a spoiler? Oh, trunk lid. What's that do? That actually looks pretty cool. Bit of carbon fibre. Gets rid of that number plate. Mm, I don't know, actually. I'm not sure. No, I'm leaving it. 
What is that? No. <laughs> I do not want that on my car. Exhausts. This thing I wouldn't actually mind changing. So I'm gonna. It's not a massive change, is it? Diffuser. Okay, that I can deal with. That I can deal with. Again, I'm probably gonna get a few comments because obviously this car is a classic, an absolute classic. Again, if I bought this car. I would not touch it. <laughs> right, so that is the car done. Oh wow. <laughs> what an absolute little monster. I guess it's time to test it out. I think I'm fairly happy with it. I mean, it wasn't a whole lot you could do to the car, but there's a fair amount. There's a few parts. More than I expected, actually. Yeah, that is my Ferrari F40. But now I'm excited to try the car out for myself, see how quick this car is. I want to start registering my times. I want to spend a bit of time outside the videos, having the cars. I've still got the Evo, I've still got the RSR, and just see how quick I can go. I'm, I'm very intrigued to see how quick we can go in these cars. I'm still first in my crew. Yay. With the RSR, actually. Oh, man. It is quite a lot quicker. <laughs> it's a lot quicker. I've gone for like an Italian decal. Very, very slim. Let's race. Let's see if anyone fancies joining me. Challenge all. I am. Oh, is that an RSR? I think it might be. Let the race commence. We have two other online competitors to race against. I think one might be an RSR, so this will be intriguing. And yes, I do have the fireworks and neon lights. <laughs> they don't look very classy whatsoever. And I've got jingle bells as my um, as my horn. I mean, it is Christmas. Christmas is soon. Anyway. Let's go. See you guys later. Yeah, I'm not afraid to use not as well. Oh, that was not going to help us out whatsoever. Damn it. Ideally, want a perfectly clean race, but already that has not happened. Bye, McLarens. Idiots. Look how fat this car is, though. It's so fat. Is that an RSR in front of us? Interesting. Come on, us. Ooh. Ooh. That's an Evo, sorry. Evo 9. And we are closing that gap. I mean, he's not driving particularly that well. This car is perfectly planted. Just the right amount of downforce. Let's see if we can try and get him. I bet he tries to take me out. I mean, he's got a really good decal. Really nice decal. That's good though. If he tries to take me out, I am not going to be impressed. Mac, get out of the way! Idiots! We have NOS available. This is the last corner though. So far, the F40 has impressed me. Very impressive. Very impressive. What time was that? I mean, I did have a slight crash at the start. <laughs> Yeah, that did happen. That's a pretty good time, considering I crashed as well. Hmm. This is a quick car. Very quick car. I am intrigued. I am very intrigued. But now it's time for a proper race. I want to try and stick to... All right, it's up to you guys. Do you want to see the same race every time so we can sort of compare? I mean, if, there's, if it's not going to be an RSR killer, so it's just like a random build, I guess we could do other stuff, but... If it's about pure speed and trying to find out what is the best car in this game, I hope you stick to the same races. What do you guys think? Let me know. Eventually, I want to do like a, a proper leaderboard. I want to do multiple laps around these tracks with the cars in a certain setup. And uh, yeah, see what happens. But yeah, that was a very impressive first race. This car is very, very quick. Incredibly quick. Those flames. 
Oh, this game, I love it. I, and it sounds, it's really early to be saying this, but I can't wait to see what Need for Speed and Go to Hinks do next. I know it's a bit early for that, but... I must admit the updates for this game have been a little bit slow. I would have liked a big, like, content update already, honestly. There we go. What can you do? What can you do? So this is Sonic. This is quite a testing race. Again, we're going to try and challenge multiple people in the arena. Let's race on Sonic. I am down. I'm I'm really enjoying this car so far, though. So, a bit of pressure on this race. Can it, um, can it compete? Can it impress me? To be honest, if these cars don't impress me, I tend to sell them. I know it sounds really bad. Like, I've sold my, my Polestar one. Wasn't a massive fan. It was very expensive. I'll go rid of it. I know. There we go. I think that is a Lamborghini. Oh. Yeah. Oh man, look at the speed on this. Left that horrible for dust. I'm not 100 sure on the um the flashing neon lights. To be honest, but there you go. Ah damn. We we'll like a bit more damage there. But somehow we got away with it. This car is. Quick though. Yeah, I do want to try and do lap times that are perfect almost, if that makes sense. So I will register my lap times, I'll write them down at some point. Let's see what the car is then. Oh my god! This car is unreal. Very impressive. I like this car. It's a little bit of a handful. Okay, my whole nap. <laughs> that is awesome. Jingle bells! This is not gonna be by any stretch of perfect land. Let's come back and do it again at some point. Come on! F40. I guess I should probably do the lap without NOS because it's, it's a bit of a hard thing to work out. You have to use the NOS exactly at the same time for every car. Otherwise, it does become a little bit hard to judge. But we are absolutely only. I mean, the, the guy who's playing is in fourth place. He's in a hurricane, I believe, which is a quick car. And we're just completely disappeared. It handles really nicely. Like I said, it can be a little bit of a handful, but if you manage the power, it will, um, it does handle nicely. It's a good car. I highly, highly recommend it. The only thing laying it down right now is my driving, to be completely honest. It's not one of those cars I'm like, turn you son of a gun! It's doing what I want. It really is. I think this might be my quickest time around Sonic. This is a very quick car. Very quick car. I think this is my first ever lap with this car on a proper circuit. Proper sprint. I'm pretty sure that's my quickest time. I know my cruise top time is like 2.45 or something like that. I did crash a, a little bit, <laughs> occasionally. 91,000 for one race. Damn! I am keeping this car, 100%. This, the Evo 9, and the RSR are very, very impressive. So where is Sonic? I wanna see if I'm actually on the leaderboard now. Because that's a hard race. Yeah, that is officially my quickest time. Whew. That guy's got a quick time with the full GT. Intriguing. Again, the Evo is always up there. And I did get a few recommendations for engines and setups for that car. For the Evo. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was the Ferrari F40. What a car. Highly recommend it. It is very, very, very quick. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.